I'm here with Sebastien Lobé, the physiotherapist from uh, Belgium, Bruxelles. And uh, I want to ask you uh, how much is important the physiotherapy in uh, hemophilia? Yes, I think um, I can say that physiotherapy is really crucial in the, in the management of uh, hemophilia uh, muscular compli com complication because uh, we know that uh, most of our adult patients are suffering from uh, multiple uh, joint arthropathies and uh, of course in uh, many countries the availability of factor replacement is not optimal. So uh, I think that uh, physiotherapy is uh, really important because it's a really cost-effective uh, uh, way to treat a patient in comparison to the cost of factor replacement. So I think for, to improve the quality of life of a patient, physiotherapy is, is definitely crucial in, patient, in uh, countries with limited resources, but also in countries that have uh, factor availability. And uh, in your country, how is the situation of physiotherapists in hemophilia centers? Is there a network? Is there a collaboration? No, in fact, there is no network. Uh, I would say that uh, I started as to be the only uh, physio involved uh, in hemophilia care. Uh, in Belgium. Uh, so what we do for the moment is uh, as a chairman of the physiotherapy group of, uh, of IAD, we are currently building uh, the physiotherapy network across Europe. And that's also uh, the case for a, f a physiotherapy network in Belgium. So what we do for the last uh, two, three years it's to build this huge network. Now we are almost 200 uh, physiotherapists recorded across Europe. And uh, we definitely try to find the good candidate, the good physiotherapy candidate to be involved in the treatment of uh, hemophilia care. So uh, for the moment, we are asking to the different hemophilia comprehensive center to uh, find a physiotherapist that would be at least partially uh, involved in the treatment of, uh, uh, of our patient and so most of all also in the assessment of joint arthropathies. And which, your, which is your role in the hemophilia team and which is your uh, uh, practice with hemophilia patients? Okay, okay. so um, my role for the moment, I can, I can say I can divide it in three or four parts. Uh, as a physiotherapist, of course, my role is to treat patients with uh, multiple joint arthropathies and uh, I think it's really important. Um, to be involved also as a physio in the treatment of our patient. But you know that um, most of our patients now would like to be treated by the local physiotherapist because for them it's sometimes very difficult to travel to the hemophilia comprehensive center. So one of my role is to be in contact with the local physiotherapist uh, to explain them what makes difference between a patient with hemophilia and a classic non-hemophilia patient and then I think uh, uh, things are going very well uh, because you take um, the, the, the opportunities of the, of the local physiotherapist and then you just trans transfer some competencies and then do the job very easily. The other job, my other job is also to be to perform the assessment of our patient. I think as a physio I'm in charge of the uh, musculoskeletal assessment of my patient in pediatrics and in the adult uh, consultation. The aim is completely different because in the adult population, the aim is to follow the patient with already established arthropathies to see if there are improvement or impairment in uh, the functionality of my patient. And in the pediatric population, my role is to be uh, as sensitive as possible to detect the onset of uh, arthropathies. So by prescribing ultrasound, MRI. So this is my role to be uh, to uh, follow my young patient in order him not to have any uh, musculoskeletal impairment with the time. Lastly, as I'm a researcher, I'm performing uh, clinical research in the field of hemophilia and uh, in the past I was doing a lot of clinical studies in the field of biomechanics in order to better understand the, um, the mechanism of uh, anchor arthropathy but now my recent project is in a developing country in Ivory Coast. We are trying to implement a, a program of communi community-based physiotherapy and home program because we are facing uh, a situation where uh, patients in developing countries do not have access to physiotherapy because of cost and because there are no physiotherapy uh, physiotherapists in the country. So what we are doing now is to teach them to do physiotherapy themselves or the family can do it as well. If 
currently uh, are there any guidelines or recommendations for uh, physiotherapy in hemophilia mm -hmm. and if not how uh, how much this could be important i think guidelines um, are very important but i think you do not have to see guidelines as a cooking receipt it's i think it's very important so what is the uh, situation for the moment we start to have uh, published in the literature some good guidelines or recommendation for physiotherapy treatment but with the creation of the physiotherapy physiotherapy group of EAD we will produce uh, we will publish very soon maybe in the next uh, two years uh, official European guideline for physiotherapy so um, I think that's only recommendation we have to keep in mind that the situation is different in each country uh, in function of uh, the factor availability in function of the how uh, the physiotherapy as physiotherapists are considered in the multidisciplinary team but i think we will end up very soon with the very good guidelines okay thank you thank You're you welcome. very much